Hey, we're back at the Wayfair, my favorite hotel in downtown LA. I'm here with one of the owners, Matt. Congratulations, great hotel, best one in downtown LA, outstanding team. What are your thoughts on Alice and how have your meetings been going? You know, it's, it, Alice has been really interesting this year. I mean, obviously there's a lot of unknown and uncertainty going into 2024 in a lot of different arenas that affect our industry. But, you know, I think there's yeah. a guarded optimism is I think probably what most people would say. Um, definitely getting down towards some of the, the crunchy part of our, uh, our industry cycle, but uh, you know, that means we're going to start coming out of it and hopefully there'll be some opportunities. So, uh, you know, I think you know, right now the, the transactions are low, but I think there's a lot of uh, strategic thinking and kind of cleaning up around the house. So. You know, I like that. Uh, you're cleaning up around the house for sure. You and I had a brief discussion. We don't have time to go into this today, but we will later. The city of Los Angeles has got a share of problems. And it Absolutely. has adversely affected hotels, travel, and tourism. Mm -hmm. And we've got to come together as a community to help and bring the city back. And we're seeing that in some other areas. You guys have got hotels up and down the state, mm -hmm. and some of the stuff spreads like wildfire. That's right. Some of it goes away with a little common sense and some good conversations. But you know, you guys are very active in the community. It shows with your teams at all your hotels. You're one of the great operators, not only in California, but I, I look at you guys and compare you to other companies nationally. Your guys get it with food and beverage, best food and beverage programs at any of the boutique hotels. You're an Thank independent you. operator. You've struck a strategic alliance with Tapestry, with this hotel, the Wayfair, and a few others. And you're always the vanguard getting things done for our industry, and I thank you for that. Politics. Nobody mm -hmm. likes the subject. I certainly don't, but we're going into an election year. I think we're going to hear three cuts from the Fed uh, as we get closer to the uh, national elections, and that's going to stimulate some business. What's your feeling on that? You know, I think that's, uh, I think if you are going with the general underwriting for yeah. 2024, it's uh, three cuts, probably 100 to 125 bips in total, maybe. Yeah. Um, you know, we are in an election year, which always throws a wild card into things. I think people were hoping that there was going to be more noise, and again, that noise comes on a daily and weekly basis, so yeah. it changes all the time. But, you know, I think the latest kind of, uh, uh, hints from the Fed are, you know, maybe it's going to come a little later than we we're all hoping for. And uh, maybe it'll be two cuts and, and bigger slices or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think a lot of us were hoping we we're going to see something in the second quarter. Right now, I think uh, I'm probably a little bearish on that. I'm thinking maybe late second quarter, early third quarter, maybe the first cut. Yeah. I'd love to see it earlier. You know, a lot of us that, you know, have floating rate loans, especially in the last, you know, three or four years when it seemed like the right way to go, um, you know, uncertainty is a, is a horrible thing. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and for a lot of us, that's where our returns are right now that are going into interest of the banks. So, um, you know, it's definitely something we've got to look at, especially in these cities that are having a hard time. And, uh, you know, we, we as a, a community and an industry need to be leading that charge of, of making sure our streets are safe, uh, right. make sure there's, you know, business as usual, that there's not uh, crime affecting uh, business uh, owners and, and wrecking uh, enterprise. Um, I also think that there's, uh, there's a need for us, you know, as a people to kind of be a little more considerate, you know, just even driving, you're driving around, you know, people, yeah. uh, it's one of my pet peeves, you know, hey, I'm going to signal, um, I'm not going to signal anymore, everyone's forgotten how to use a signal thing, you know, it's like all these little pet peeves of mine, but if you think about consideration, if it is, we, and, and I, it's something I really love about our industry, and I love about coming to Alice, Alice is like, kind of like our annual reunion, you know, right. it really is, right. it is. and uh, here at Wayfair, the, you know, the party we throw, and, and the, the, you know, it's almost like we uh, we curate even our guests at this point. Uh, yeah. Who gets who gets the uh, opportunity to stay with us during uh, Alice? And it's a, it's a look. And it's you know, look, we're not that selective, but it's uh, it is a luxury to have a lot of good friends at this time supporting us at the hotel during this conference. And we try and reward uh, our friends by by making it a fantastic stay. And I think if all of us is whatever business we're in, if we kind of think that way, uh, the world's going to get a lot better, a lot quicker. I agree with you, and you know what, it's it's the building you put together, but it's the people inside that you have. All of your associates here, you know, your, your GM to the guy who's, who's washing the floors at night, right. okay, they do an outstanding job. Sometimes the same person. Yeah, 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 sometimes it is. In today's world, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, all, we're all multitasking. That's right, jobs. that's right. 
But you know what? Every one of your team members here looks you in the eye, says hello, asks how you are, yeah. and you know, you don't see that a lot in some of these yeah. other hotels. But you know, it's always a pleasure staying here. And you know, this is my base camp. Whenever I come into LA, this is my hotel of choice. And do yourself a favor, stay at the Wayfair in downtown LA. Check out their Wayfair in San Diego as well. Stephen and I are going to go do a video down there. So you know, we have the we have the infamous infamous uh, Fork and Film here right now. Yeah, uh, we have a residency with them in Lily Rose on the weekends, and you know they're at Instagram and TikTok uh, bonanza. I mean, they have they have got a lot of hype to them, and I, I think that's the other part of our industry. You know, I was thinking about this today. I don't know why it was on my mind. Probably because I'm tired and exhausted. It's day two of the convention. And you're yeah. kind of looking for other things to do, but. Uh, but I was thinking about how our industry is, we're confidential, but we're not really secret. Right. I love the sharing of best practices, of yeah. ideas, of creativity, and we saw it really come together during COVID where we all support each other yes. in our industries, but in our businesses, but also I see it continuing where we share best practice. I mean, these guys who should really, and technically are competitors, are some of my best friends. I mean, right. they're great people. and. I really appreciate that about our industry and about this conference. It's just a phenomenal thing to be involved in. Yeah, I made the change over to hospitality almost 30 years ago, and it is by far the best class asset out of all commercial real estate. And you do, you've got, you've got the best of the best of the people, you've got everybody's willing to help. And you know what, we're always the first ones to help out first responders. You know, we've right. got a wildfire, we've got a town that's been burned out. We take everybody in, we help and we provide a lot of tax revenue to each and every city that we're in. That's right. So, you know, it's a hotel is a boon to the community, and these guys do it right. Matt, thank you for joining hey, me. Look thanks for staying with us always. Glad to have you have your home base here. Thank you. So, Bye, everybody. See you later.